Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I have a great news for you guys. Now GNOME 44 is almost ready. So basically GNOME 44 is now all set for the beta testing. GNOME or you can say GNOME is one of the most user friendly desktop environment and it is always preferred the latest technologies, okay, latest innovations. So in this video, we will uh, talk about the latest GNOME 44, what are its new features, what are its improvements. So basically many improvements are there in the GNOME 44 compared to the uh, last edition of GNOME 43. And you will see the GNOME 44 in the next Fedora 38 and next Ubuntu release also. So basically, now I will show you guys a fresh look of the GNOME 44. Okay, so watch this video till the last. And before starting the video, you have to do just one thing, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And also now you can send me super thanks. Okay, so without further delay, let's start the video and let's see that what are the new amazing thing in GNOME 44. Okay, so you can see this is the latest GNOME 44. Okay, so this is the look, you can see that these are the virtual workspaces. Okay, so first of all, I'm just showing uh, you guys the specifications. Okay, I'm just going to the settings and here I'm just going to the about section and here you can see that uh, this is the device name and the new thing is the firmware version. Okay, so this is also included here. I'm in the virtual box. So here it is virtual box and memory and processor and graphics and disk capacity. You can see that. And also this OS I'm using, it is called the GNOME OS with the latest GNOME edition and 64 bit and the GNOME version you can see 44 beta and the windowing system is well and yes it is the modern windowing system and the virtualization and also the kernel version uh, of this OS you can see that uh, 5.19 okay now uh, you can see this is the this is the fresh look of GNOME 44 so very polished and some uh, improved uh, thing you can see that and and this is the this is the quick uh, setting panel you can see and here every toggle button has two parts and clearly you can see the divider here right so the left hand side is the uh, toggle button and the and the right hand arrow is basically uh, you you are getting a menu drop down menu from here and also the similar thing you will get in the uh, bluetooth okay since i'm in virtual box so no bluetooth is there but in the real hardware you will uh, get this uh, like this uh, for the for the Bluetooth okay so Bluetooth devices you can you can see uh, here okay and also you can see uh, the uh, the power mode is power saver and uh, balanced if you are using in real hardware you uh, will get a performance mode also and night light turning off and turning on and this is the dark style okay and now I'm showing you guys uh, this is the dark style I'm clicking just here and you can see the wallpaper and the theme all things uh, turns dark and also this is the light theme you can see also you can uh, change sound from here and also you can choose the output device from the list now coming to the nautilus file manager so this is the icon view and this is the list view now when you go to the preferences and here basically uh, by default it is just turned off expandable folders in list view and if you turn it on so basically you are getting a new look of expandable uh, files okay so, so you can see that that uh, suppose this download folder uh, has many files or folders so you just expand this folder like here okay currently no items are there so i i can't show you guys so this uh, this is a new feature in the uh, nautilus and also uh, the file picker has improved if you suppose uh, uh, to upload a file when you uploading a file from a web browser so the file picker will be now in the thumbnail view now also basically if you are uh, using some app like uh, skype or telegram so you know that after uh, closing the window it can run in the background and when such app uh, is installed uh, here so you will see an extra uh, thing in this uh, in this menu basically and here uh, you will see the background apps running there okay now coming to the uh, changing background so basically now uh, i will show you guys the uh, wallpapers and uh, theming Okay, and that is very, very beautiful. I'm, I'm really pretty much impressed with this. Amazing collection, amazing. I'm just uh, showing you guys. Okay, so you can see that dark and light wallpapers are there. Okay, so I'm just, uh, this is the default one and I'm just trying this. So you can see that, you can see that, that this is, this is amazing, amazing wallpaper, right? 
and also if you turn the dark mode basically so uh, the wallpaper uh, is in the dark mode so this is amazing amazing this wallpaper choices and artwork is amazing okay i really love this it is making the gnome very very beautiful now this is you can see this is the mouse and touchpad settings okay and you see uh, there are uh, there are many changes here and this this is the amazing animation uh, uh, they put and it looks really amazing and really professional so this is the scrolling the traditional scrolling you can see this is the scrolling type and this is the natural scrolling okay so this is this is amazing and also in the touchpad settings you can see uh, this is the two finger scrolling when you uh, uh, over the mouse here and you can see a little animation it's amazing it's uh, really professional and this is the edge scrolling so touchpad uh, you use uh, the edge scrolling you can do with that okay and also this is the traditional uh, scrolling method you can see that right and this is the opposite direction these these are the natural scrolling okay so so these refinements are amazing now when you go to the sound setting basically uh, this is also uh, new things are added and you can see uh, this is the this is the output device you can choose from here and also you can test it right so basically you can test the speakers and also uh, this is the output volume and this is the input so the input microphone you can choose from this uh, drop down list and also this uh, you can choose the input volume okay you can adjust that and volume levels you can adjust volume levels of different applications okay and alert sound you can also manage so you can see click string swing and hum so these uh, four type of alarm sounds you can get here now you know that gnome is a complete operating system okay because uh, it has its uh, own own apps okay you can uh, it has own text editor own maps photos own video player and also own system monitor and uh, calculator and also the software center okay and now i'm showing you guys the pre-built web browser here so this is the gnome web this is actually the epiphany web browser so this is uh, a lot of work has been done on it you can see now you can add new tabs okay and you can switch tabs from here also and in the in the uh, you can see this is the about and so this is you can see this is the gtk4 port of the uh, uh, epiphany web browser so now it is made with the gtk4 and now uh, if talking about the preferences so you can see uh, that uh, some preference so this is the ad blocker and pop-up blocker and also most visited pages okay so and also you can see downloads and search engine you can choose from bing google DuckDuckGo, and also start in incognito mode so always it is it will start in incognito okay and also uh, the mouse gestures okay languages you can set and in the privacy section you can see intelligent uh, tracking uh, prevention and storage and google search suggestions you can turn it on and the passwords and all the things you can remember passwords and all the things and in the appearance you can use the custom fonts and font style so many things are added here now guys i'm showing you the gnome softwares so basically this is the software okay so this is the software center you can see that okay and i can maximize it okay uh, now you can see these are the uh, all categories here and these are the install and these are the updates okay and suppose i'm just uh, choosing one app suppose drawing and you can see this is in the flat hub all right so uh, flat hub is already uh, pre-configured here and you now you can see a uh, very detail okay so you can see these are the screenshots and screenshots are really in a great manner okay so that's that's amazing and also these are some uh, extra extra things okay some extra detail you are getting here and also the download size and uh, it is safe or not and this is the desktop only and this is the age rating and a new version and you can see uh, the new version is this and uh, uh, what are the new version also it is written here and also you can see the version history okay so five history you can uh, you can see from here so that's are the uh, really great things uh, included uh, in this uh, gnome software manager and and also you can see this is the project website of this uh, software and also uh, these links you can see also you can see the user reviews 
and also uh, here there is a menu so uh, these are software repositories uh, you can see flathub is already enabled here and gnome nightly and linux vendors and also you can see preferences so in the preferences you can enable the automatic update and or automatic update notification and now this is uh, added thing uh, this is the added things so you can see now show only free apps so only open source free apps will be shown in the software center if you enable this now let's see the apps inbuilt in the gnome 44 and these are clocks and all things uh, you can see here and in the utilities basically uh, you can see now now uh, there is no uh, gnome terminal it is now console okay so and uh, this is the disk this is the gnome partition manager you know that okay this is the gnome image viewer document viewer and all the things you can see and in the console you can see now this is the default terminal of the gnome so this is uh, this is a change you can see that and you can see this is the uh, screenshot tool now included in this uh, menu okay quick setting menu so this is a screenshot tool you can see that so you can either take screenshot or you can uh, record video also and you can see a screenshot is captured but a new thing in the uh, wi-fi setting is that that uh, if you want to use uh, as a hotspot okay from the from your pc or laptop so you can basically uh, uh, get a qr code and you have to just uh, scan the qr code uh, with the mobile phone and you are connected to the hotspot of your pc so that is that is an amazing thing in the in the network section and also you can see this is the uh, bluetooth and this is the appearance i told you earlier and this is the multitasking okay so in the multi you can enable the hot corner okay so just uh, uh, enable the hot corner and also you can see dynamic workplaces and also multi monitor support you can see that and in the privacy uh, you can see uh, uh, a lot of things okay uh, basically uh, now in the microphone you can see microphone access you can disable from here location service uh, you can uh, disable from here okay These are the uh, power settings you can see uh, balanced and power and you will get a performance mode in the real hardware okay and all the power setting you can uh, you can see you can show the battery percentage here and this is the display setting uh, you can change the resolution from here and the orientation and the refresh rate you can change from here night light you can uh, turn on or turn off from here now the new thing in the about section is uh, inclusion of the two things one is the firmware version and another is the kernel version of the os so you can see that so this is the brand new login screen you can see so uh, two accounts are there this is a user account and this is the administrator account so spacing is really great and it looks really good okay now i'm going to the apps and i'm showing you the weather the weather applet is uh, really nice and you can see i have chosen the new delhi india location and now you can see uh, this is the weather forecast and a temperature curve is included in this gnome 44 version so this is uh, really amazing so this is the delhi and this is the hourly so this is the uh, daily uh, forecast you can see and this is the hourly forecast so it's amazing to look at now this is the maps now gnome maps uh, this is also uh, a very much a good app and also now you can see suppose I am just uh, searching USA so now you can see uh, the keyboard navigation okay so by keyboard I can choose uh, uh, wherever I want to uh, go so this is an amazing uh, map uh, software you can see that okay and basically suppose I'm I'm searching I'm just searching New York so I'm just uh, clicking here and you can see now new york has been detected here okay now you can see uh, some menus are here okay so basically now export as image so this image you can export okay so so this is this photo okay this image you can export as a as a file png file okay and also a uh, root planner this is the root planner so suppose you have to go from uh, some from <laughs> somewhere to somewhere just i'm going to new york and from i think from uh okay so you can see a uh, new york to texas okay this is the root chart in the usa 
okay so you can see this is this is the uh, walking and this is the uh, i think biking okay going through bike and you can see the route chart and also with the car okay so this is amazing navigation so basically gnome uh, maps uh, is really a powerful software no, no doubt about it okay so basically if uh, this video is helpful for you and uh, you are enjoying this video so make sure you uh, like this video and subscribe my channel to get more such videos and also uh, you can now send me the super thanks okay so super thanks button is there uh, below the video okay so thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye